Hi and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be unboxing the Dom's watercolor pens. This is their aqua set which has about 24 shades and this is very interesting because it has these um, unique push resistant tips and it's watercolor pens. So watercolor sketch pens is something that I'm so fascinated by and I'm very excited to try out this kit. So this is, looks like a really nice sturdy kit and um, it's got 24 colors. I'm wondering why one color is out here and one over here. Um, but anyway, we'll see once we open the packaging. Uh, so I got this for about INR 125. So if you've seen my earlier videos, I would have done the unboxing of the tiny mini one, uh, part of their um, painting kit. And um, it didn't really dissolve much in terms of like being watercolor liquid it it wasn't much so i want to see how these bigger ones are maybe that was uh, tiny so it didn't really work so well let's figure out how this one is so i'm going to unbox this because you can see over here they say that if you touch water you probably get like really good colors of course you know it's exaggerated but um, i'm very curious to see how this could be. This has 24 shades. And how do I open it? Okay, so you open it from here. Like this. This is very nice. I like how it's packaged. It's very interesting. So here is um, for you to like hang it to your bag. You could put like a hang tag or something. And these are interesting grays. So there are totally about 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 12, 16, Yes, 24. So sometimes they do add in like an extra color inside, but they do mention it explicitly on the packaging and this it wasn't mentioned. So I'm assuming that um, because of that only. So I'll show you now each, how each color looks. Let's pick out this beautiful mango yellow. Uh, this is how their packaging is. I like that these sketch pens are in, uh, nice. They are thicker than their regular sketch pens. So I'll show you here are the Dom's regular sketch max. So this is a little bit thicker as compared to that so much more handy to use and it's also like very easy so sometimes like you know if you're using them for a while and then this goes away you'll at least have a very good uh, distinction between both of them so this is a nice touch that they have so let's do the swatches of these colors mm, and i must say i really like how they have packaged this you can see how it's going from the warm colors to the cool colors to the neutrals it's so pretty The swatches I'm using a brushstroke um, sketchbook so it's about 180 GSM I'm just going to create like quick swatches first of all 24 colors and then we'll see how to use them we'll try out a couple of techniques like how we do with um, color pencils and then we do with watercolor crayons we'll see how they are so the first two are quite nice uh, the third one I, I really liked it because it was a little softer to use the colors are fine they're not too bright also because i think each one has about two shades like there's a light orange and then there's a darker orange moving on to the next color which is this red so the individual sketch pens these are really nice i love the choice of colors tom's has amazing pigments always now the point is how will this be used as watercolor pens let's quickly make the swatches for the rest this particular set has very interesting uh, color shades normally you would find fluorescent i'm not a very big fan of fluorescent um, so in a way, I'm happy that this set does not have fluorescent. I haven't seen fluorescent watercolors anywhere, so maybe that's the reason why. If you have, do let me know in the comment section below. If you have fluorescent watercolors or if you've seen them or if you make them. Oops. Okay. So we are almost a little more than halfway there. They have a lot of interesting um, color shades. I like the values that they have. 
like for one color they have like about two or three which is quite good like for this green we have a light green um like a sap green olive this looks more like an olive to me or like in between an olive and a sap and this is like a viridian so from outside these two look very similar uh, this is why a swatch sheet is very important for you to understand how your colors are in fact if you're going to be doing um watercolors and you have like the dom's um, watercolor kit or any other kit belong you can use this part as a palette black and we've got the last two neutrals which are our grays okay so here are the 24 colors and the colors are wonderful by themselves they really look nice um, now the main test is about the watercolor part of it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a brush some water and we're going to try and fade this out i'm probably going to try a new one so that you know in, in case uh, it doesn't work when it's completely dried then what happens so let's test it out all right now for the moment of truth so i'm going to pick out a new color let's pick out a red I'm making a cute little petal and I've got some brushes over here and I'm going to use this round brush. Let's zoom in. Oh, this is wonderful. I think compared to the mini set, this is brilliant. In fact, while it's still wet, let's use our... This is good. I think maybe the mini set was... Um, 40 pack or it was just because it's a tiny one it doesn't work so well i don't know what's the reason but this one is very good um of course i think this merges much better than this let's also create like a blob of water and oh <laughs> this is nice i'm going to create a couple of blobs and we'll probably put like multiple colors we'll try and do like a wet or wet on wet style Maybe just add like a few blobs of multiple colors and see how, whether it merges with each other, what happens to it. And when I put some water on my pen, um, I don't like the effect of it that much, but you can see it's much smoother. You know, this is when it's a normal one here. This is when I put like a little bit of water on my tip and then use it so this is also nice uh, depends on what kind of uh, final finish you're looking for this is still wet so let me add a few more dabs of color oops no i think i'm going to use it in this style only i don't want this um, area where you know suddenly there's no color at all so let's create a very cute um flower like this maybe a couple of different kind of flowers this time let's make something with a blue so what i'm going to do is like if you, you need to do a little bit of study of um, dark light and shadow so don't color the entire thing so just make sure only the darker areas you have your color added and then just use some water to drag it out There would look quite nice. Okay. Then maybe some leaves. Start with the light color. So I'm not going to do an outline like how I did here. I want to see how it blends in with each other um, without doing that. So when I add like the color one on top of another, it comes dark like that over here. So I'm going to start trying to merge these two. I'm finding it a little hard. Maybe green as a color does not merge well. It's just not happening in this. Let's try doing this separately. Yeah, 
So this is not a very nice color that's emerging. Um, I think some colors are just going to be hard for you to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly take like a flat brush and try and see, or a round brush, anything is fine. Um, and see if all of these colors merge or they don't. I think some of them do, some of them don't. So the lighter colors are very good. You can see the difference between this green and this green. This green is just not, it's so adamant. So, okay, so the dark ones are also merging. So I guess it's just like a couple of colors that aren't. So hopefully this video will help you to understand. It could also differ from package to package. So for example, in this particular set of mine, maybe some of these colors aren't working very well, but in your set, it may just be perfect. So a good idea is as soon as you get your set, make a swatch sheet of this and also create it in this style that I've done right now, where you have the colors and then you also take some water and drag the colors out. So you understand how much of water soluble capacity it has or it doesn't have. Like this gray is also really bad in terms of, you know, not the color, but in terms of being water soluble. Black is good. Absolutely not perfect like how we had the red, but still not bad. We'll try now these colors on this side. You can do a lot of things with it. This is still not a very bad deal. Um, for the price, this is, I think, if I'm not wrong, 125. So for that, I think this is good. Red is the best, I guess. So if you've noticed, while I'm doing these ones on the left, the ones on the right have dried out. And once they've dried out, in fact, you can't see the lines at all. Like this green here, the blue here. It's wonderful how that is happening. So um, I think that is a very big plus point because then you won't see these sharp lines in between the gradation. And I, I feel like that's very important for me. Oh, the yellows are really nice. So this is how um, these colors have fared out for me. I do like them um, in spite of some of the shortcomings. Um, that's a very normal thing to happen. Like even if you buy like watercolors, not all of the pigments are going to be very good. Some of them are going to be a little hard. Some of them are going to be um, very soft. So it does happen. So I think as a starter, especially if you're doing something really creative and fancy like this, it's a very good piece of um, art supply that you can add to your collection. So I hope today's video was useful for you and I will see you soon for the next one. Bye bye.